the most important controls when you first start are gain and depth. Gain is changed on the left hand knob. Turn your gain up and the image becomes brighter. Turn it down and the image becomes darker. Pay no attention to the number on the right hand side. It really doesn't matter. You need to just change it to be sufficient for you to be able to see what you want to see. So liquid should be black, bone and gas should be white and soft tissue will be other shades in between. For depth, it's the function knob and that's on the right hand side. The idea is to start with a greater depth and then reduce it once you've found something. So if I was looking at some detail on my liver here, I've got my liver because I'm at a great depth and then I reduce to make sure that my liver is filling up all of my area of interest. So it will be the same principle with the gestation sac. You might start like this, but once you've located that sac and you can see it at the top, you're going to want to reduce your depth a lot so that that sac is filling up as much of the imaging area as you can. You don't want to have tiny little sacs all stuck at the top of your screen with a lot of wasted space. Your focal point is the little green arrow that you can see on the left, just here, and you can adjust that. If you press the down arrow, you'll move it down and obviously the up arrow will move it up. And you want that at or just below your level of interest. So you definitely do not want your focal point up here if the thing you're looking at is down there because the beam will narrow here and diverge and by the time you're down here, everything's going to be very much out of focus. When you found an image you like, you can freeze it with the snowflake button and you can save it with the save button. You can also perform measurements here. You can do a simple distance measurement with the measure button or you can do an obstetric calculation, so a gestational age calculation with the OB button. If you press that, it'll ask you to select your species and then it will give you a range of different measurement options. You need to make sure you're trained and knowledgeable about which measurement package you're going to be using for the correct stage of pregnancy. As well as saving and measuring when frozen, you can also press the Cine button in the middle and that will allow you to scroll back over what you've done. So if you've got a really good picture and then the animal moves, quickly freeze and just scroll back and find that picture. You don't have to start all over again. The controls up here are your TGC, your time gain control. You usually don't need to touch them. Just make sure they're either in a line in the middle or they make sense. So, you know, they might be sloped this way, for example, so you've got a steady increase in gain with depth. But in general, if you have them just in the middle, the machine is going to work out the correct setting for you. You just want to make sure they're not all messed up random like this, because that's going to do terrible things to your image. So you see in this area, the gain is turned down and that's why it's all dark there. It would almost make you think of something wrong with your transducer. So you want to make sure most of the time that these are just in a straight line unless you have a reason why you would want to compensate your gain at a particular depth. Another important control is frequency. You'll have a multi-frequency transducer whether you've picked convex or micro-convex and you can cycle through the frequency ranges here. So 2.5 the lowest, so my image resolution is poorest but my penetration is best here. 3.5 is kind of a mid-range and 5 megahertz that's going to give me my highest resolution image so I should always try and scan at 5 megahertz whenever I can but I'll reduce it down if I feel the need. If you're scanning in dark conditions remember you've got this helpful button here which lights up your keypad for you. The review button allows you to go back and look over images you've saved already. From here you can export them to USB if you insert a USB stick and then go to copy to use. 